Ever since its foundation in 1946 as the then Basketball Association of America, the NBA has had a long story of expansion that has allowed it to become the premier professional basketball league in the United States and the world. Its first season started with 11 teams, but a series of complications reduced that number to eight. Still, the league managed to recover and continue growing, adding 22 franchises from 1961 until 2004. But even if it looks like a total of 38 teams is already enough, the league has never shied away from expansion if the opportunity was right. And while the current pandemic may have delayed conversions for any future expansion even further, it could have also opened the door for new cities to take an audition to prove themselves as potential NBA markets. With Kansas City being one of the possible destinations to welcome a team sooner rather than later. Welcome to Courtside. Today we're talking about the possibility of new markets joining the league and how Kansas City could soon be making a case for itself. To talk about any possible expansion of the NBA, we must start by making something clear. No city will be as much of a priority to the league as Seattle. After the Supersonics acquisition by an ownership group that moved the team to Oklahoma City, Seattle has always come up in talks of a possible relocation to other teams. A few examples, multiple investors tried to acquire the Sacramento Kings, Milwaukee Bucks, and Atlanta Hawks in the past with a move to Seattle in mind. However, either ownership groups or the league banned the idea of relocation in each case, prioritizing investors that would keep each franchise in its respective city. So assuming there won't be a team looking to relocate anytime soon, the city will depend on an expansion to bring the Sonics back. And considering the history behind the former NBA franchise as well as the interest there, it is to make it come back to life. It's safe to say Seattle will be on top of the list whenever the NBA decided to expand again. But if an expansion does end up taking place, at least a couple of other cities may receive a new team to maintain a balance in the number of NBA franchises. However, along with Seattle, markets that have been rumored to look to add a basketball team include Las Vegas and Mexico City. Both locations would probably look like more attractive expansion options than most other cities. So knowing the way things are, you might be wondering why Kansas City is even in the conversation in the first place. And the answer to that is simple and can be found outside of the United States. If you're a fan of Canadian teams or have been following other major leagues, you may already know the Toronto Blue Jays, Montreal Impact, Vancouver Whitecaps, and Toronto FC have all been forced to play their local games outside of their home country. The reason for that? Coronavirus. Since the end of March, Canada has imposed traveling restrictions with the United States, making it a difficult task for most Americans to get into Canadian territory. And while there exist a few exceptions to this rule, those who are unable to cross the border must complete a mandatory 14-day quarantine. In short, the Canadian government doesn't want to risk possible outbreaks taking place in its country by allowing large numbers of American citizens to cross the border. And even though the restrictions deadline is November 21st, it will probably be renewed considering the current state of the pandemic in the U.S. That means the Toronto Raptors could be the latest Canadian team to be forced to look for a different place where it can play its home games during the following season. And that's when locations like Kansas City come into play. At the moment, there's no certainty regarding when the 2020-21 season will start, where the games are going to be played, how the schedule is going to look like, or what protocols are going to be employed to protect the health of players and teams' personnel. However, the League and Players Union are already in discussion to decide whether games will start around Christmas or by the middle of January. And that means the Raptors will have to decide where they'll be playing their home games next season. So far, we know the team is trying to do everything possible to get permission from its government to play games at the Scotiabank Arena. Naturally, that would be its preferred option. But if it doesn't manage to convince Canadian authorities about it, it'll need to look for a temporal home in the U.S. Looking forward to that possibility, multiple cities in the American territory have approached both the league and the Raptors to try to convince them that they would be an excellent place for the team to settle during a season. And among those cities, KC has emerged as a potential destination for the organization. The case for that particular city is a compelling one. When it comes to infrastructure, Kansas City counts with the T-Mobile Center, which has a capacity of 19,000 people, just in case fans may be allowed to return to games at some point during next season. Kansas City has also become a city capable of housing successful sports franchises such as the Kansas City Chiefs, which won the NFL championship earlier in the year. And there's no better proof that players can be happy there than Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes asking for the Raptors to come to the city. Then there's the fact that the city was once the home to an NBA franchise. From 1972 to 1985, the Kings played their home games in Kansas City. And while they had a modest run, they managed to make it to the conference finals in 1981 before moving to Sacramento a few years later. So with all that in mind, the city's mayor confirmed he and multiple other local representatives sent a letter to Adam Silver and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, expressing their intention to host the 2019 champions if they needed to find a temporal home in the U.S. However, while that is an important step to potentially bring the Raptors to Kansas City for a season, it doesn't mean they'll automatically get their wish granted. As things are currently standing, there may be at least two obstacles in the city's plan. The first one has to do with civil rights. As we all know, the NBA and NBPA were engaged in a campaign against social injustice during the Orlando bubble. And while the league has already informed it will take a step back in that regard by next season, most of the players have remained committed to the cause. 
So, considering multiple civil rights organizations have called out the local police department for its extreme hostility against black people, players may not be willing to play there. On top of that, there's another thing that could stop the Raptors from playing in KC. The competition. Kansas City is not the only city looking to bring the former champs to the United States. In fact, the former home of the Kings faces competition from locations that may be even more attractive to the Canadians. The first few options are the ones that have already proven to work by hosting one of the other Canadian teams that were recently forced to play away from home. Those places include Buffalo, East Hartford, New Jersey, and Portland. Among those options, Buffalo is probably the one that would provide the most benefits to the organization. Just like in the case of KC, local representatives sent a letter to Silver and team president Masai Ujiri requesting to become the home of the team in the event it couldn't play its games in Canada. However, there are a few other things that could make their petition look like a better one. First, there's the fact that the city successfully hosted the Blue Jays during the last MLB season. And on top of that, there's the already existing relationship between Buffalo and Toronto. Because of their geographical proximity, both cities' communities have a close relationship. And when it comes to fan engagement, teams in Toronto have strong fan bases in Buffalo. When talking about infrastructure, Buffalo is just as prepared to host an NBA team as Kansas City. And if we want to mention history, the city also has previous experience with the league as it was home to the Clippers when they were called the Braves. But what may be the most important difference between both cities is the fact that if the Raptors decided to play in Buffalo, they would have an easier time playing against division rivals than if they played in KC. Whenever the NBA and MBPA reach an agreement to start next season, they may also decide to reduce traveling as much as possible to prevent potential coronavirus outbreaks. And if that's the case, the Raptors should benefit from playing somewhere that's close to the other teams in their division. Therefore, the team may not consider Kansas City as the best alternative, considering it could instead play its home games in cities like Buffalo or New Jersey. Another city that has been rumored to have an interest in hosting the Raptors is Louisville. However, it was reported that those rumors could have been false. But even if they weren't, the city would present the same issues as KC when it comes to social injustice and traveling distance. So, other locations might still look like a more attractive option. By this point, you may be wondering why so many cities have an interest in hosting the Raptors for such a short period. And to find the answer to that question, we can take another look at what happened with Oklahoma City in 2008. If Sonic's ownership had attempted to relocate the team to a market that hadn't ever hosted an NBA franchise before, the league could have banned the move, arguing it would have been bad for its finances. However, given that OKC had previously been the home of the then Hornets following the damage caused by Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, the league already had a good idea of how a basketball team would fare in the city. So, considering Oklahoma City became home to an NBA team a few years after hosting the Hornets for a couple of seasons, it makes complete sense for more cities to try to do the same with the Raptors. And while it's unlikely that either Buffalo, Louisville, or Kansas City will be part of the league's next expansion based on how things go during the upcoming season, they could improve their chances of receiving a team that's looking to relocate in the future. All in all, the pandemic may present an American city with the perfect opportunity to show why it would do well as a future NBA market. And while the Raptors will try to do everything they can to play next season in Toronto, it's unlikely they can convince the Canadian authorities to do so. So, even if it is a long shot, it's safe to say that more cities will join KC in their attempt to bring professional basketball home, even if it is just for a single season. And at the end of the day, trying doesn't harm anybody. But now, what are your thoughts about the Raptors playing their home games in an American market? Where do you think they should play next season? Where do you think they should play next season? Let us know in the comments. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel for more NBA content. We are Courtside.